Hello creative designers and welcome on to this tutorial. My name is Peter and on to this tutorial we are just going to see how we can be able to add this bell notification to our WordPress website. For instance this one I was just trying to just figure out how it works and you can see whenever customer post and uh, create an order you'll be able to have this notification saying the order is processing and if the admin update the status for the order for the order the customer will have this notification if you just upload a new post it will be available for the customer and they can be able to see when was the time uh, the time posted and uh, the date and all that so we are just going to see how it work for instance let's try to update a new notification to this customer webs uh, this customer account so all we just need to do we go to the order i had already created an order for this account here on the order you can see the order was placed almost five hours ago and you can uh, the only thing you need to do you just only need to open the order here and you can even note uh, the order number here and we only need to update the status here so we say the order has been completed and we post and now uh, we update the order here i have done a tutorial on how to add custom and unlimited order status i'll include the link on the description check it out so for this we have to we just updated the status and when you just go back to the customer account here and uh, we refresh here and you'll be able to see we have now the icon with the badge number showing we have a new notification that we need to attend and see and you can see we also have this other one here on the the, uh, the down uh, light corner here so we can just you can use either and on click on it it should pop up and show the notification here so you can see the order is completed and for sure we have just updated and on, on click on it you'll be directed to the order here and you can see the order number and the date when it was uh when it was updated it was completed the other way you can just uh use this notification is when you are using uh you are adding a post and you want to the customer to be notified all you just need to do we can just come here we add a new post and we need to add a, a title and we say test to or whatever it is the header you have and then you have uh, to include a small text here and you can just come here and to post and you need to fill out this and whatever you're just going to is the notification detail do you want to enable new post uh, new notification for this post and if you want to yeah you see that and the notification content you can just turn on uh, you can delete this and add something else and you see new post available new post update available and just that you can include what you be not uh, seen on the car uh, on the customers end or all the subscriber end or whoever you are updating to and if you can see who the recipient you can select the specific recipient you want to uh, to see this notification if you select the customer all others will not be able to see if you select everyone everyone will be able to see the notification so we need to only publish for this post and once we do that we need to come back to home or wherever you are you only need the to refresh the page or the customer or the subscriber you only need to refresh the page and just that on click here you can be able to see we have a new post available you can see the time and you can even see the time the seconds are a time in seconds ago when it was just published you can see customer or the subscriber anyone can be able to get all this info, uh, information and notification all for free because the plugin i'm using is a free plugin and without further ado let's just get into action and i take you through step to step on how to install this plugin and let it work so i need to close this page here 
and I also need to close this one and We need to go to the dashboard and on the dashboard we scroll to where we have the plugin. On offer we have these three options. Select a new because we need to add a new plugin. So come here and search for the plugin. And the plugin is called WP Notification Bell. Here you have it. You have so many options. You can just check on them. But for now we are just going to use from sp plugin you can see the plugin just new and it has only a hundred active installation i just came across this plugin this is not a sponsored tutorial i just came up across this plugin and i tried it and i saw you may be in need of it it helped you to update so many states as you can see last updated one week ago and all you just need to do we install the plugin after successful installation we activate the plugin after activation the plugin we have this uh, pop-up window it may depend on the theme you're using all you may not see this but if you find it just cl click skip and here we are we only need to add a new notification and on adding on new notification you just call it maybe for post notification and all that if we proceed there we have on the dashboard menu i have the we have the button for notification and don't click on it on all offer you'll be able to see this setting button select setting button let's come here we need to select so many information we need to add so many info so you may need to if you wanted to for the customer to have the notification without refreshing or just need to do is you come here and add the interval let me say i want it to load in every 60 seconds or maybe 30 seconds yeah with that now we have we, we the display option so after that now we have the display option you can just come here let me just come here and we'll be able to see everything in practical let me open on this home page here this is the menu section you can be able to add it so easy and simple let's click here and see the notification here is for the post we did so this one is for the menu section so let me close here and we come here and we say we added the menu do you want to add the bell icon to the menu and do you want the bell icon for the visitors for those people who are not registered in your uh who are not registered in your website or not user in your website you can just allow it to appear in uh, in the visitors end so the other thing is you can un enable the floating icon we have the floating icon here and you also yeah and you can customize we'll be able to change even the how it shows the notification so we want to add it and we want to we, we also want it to be available for the visitors but if you don't want to it to be available for the visitors you can just untick here the other thing you can use the short code they have provided them here and you can paste them everywhere uh, for the short code we have the short code for the logged in users and we also have the notification for the logged out users you can uh, use the short code to add the bell icon manually now we have the button for the more option you can select where the drop down you just want to for this one you can see it's on the light section and if you click here you find the drop down on the light section so i want the drop down to be on the light section on the left section here and you can also add the uh, text uh, bo uh, you can also add a bell icon or text so i'll include a text here and see what's new like that and we'll be able to see who the different i never added this one but we'll be able to see how it works and we have the box header you can add maybe a html or a text on this one here but i'm not going to add on that we have the empty notification box you can add the text on the notification for an empty so we say maybe nothing new or maybe something new whatever it is or new update 
is coming or whatever the notification you can be we want to add you can include it here you also have uh, a menu to look uh, add to menu location if you have so many menu here like the one for the footer and the one for the premium menu and you have maybe all you just need to do is you come and select here maybe for the footer one click on the drop down you could have have uh, the footer here just select here we have the menu section and uh, we have added the menu automatically here so no much you're going to deal on that the drop down box uh, position you can say you can customize here and say I will just leave it the way it is but you can just set the position for the drop down and we have the drop down attribute I'm not just going to check on that visited uh, notification item for in users you can add some attribute on that and visited and all that I'm just going to leave all this other option because they are optional they are not adding so many values so we only save the changes here and we just whatever you have done we can be able to see the difference here so we have it here you can see how it look like non in notification so you can see here we have the text we just did added and i want to remove this text because it don't look good here so i just come here back to setting and i remove this one and i just save the setting like that let's see how it look like now now we have the icon and the bell icon and uh, which is really look super good and super fantastic when you just have it it really look good for your website so what, the other thing now we need to go to the notification item what are those notification you just want uh, what are those items you just want to be added in the notification like for instance the one we had here so i just come here like for instance here we have the menu or uh, the icon and on click we have the date and even the minute that have passed so you can this is where you're going to set it so here we have the contact uh the notification content and you can also add some few other options they have provided them here like we have date and we have human date and time so only you only need the only thing you need to do is you come here and add maybe something like date and we have the shortcut for date here copy it like here and you paste it and you can add some attribute and say this is date and you can also even add another one and say time and we also add some a default uh, default value which is time we have the shortcut here you can copy the one and keep the one you want they may be added maybe in future many more but for now those are the available and we add the id attribute as time and we save the changes so like for instance uh we don't have anything but on refresh the one will have the we'll try before the end of this tutorial and we'll be able to see how it will work the next thing we need now to go to the featured image we, you can add uh, the size of the featured image for this for this will appear on the post here so I'm not just going to but you can add maybe something like 20 and here we have 20 like that and you save it so before we proceed, before we test on that one we need to also come to post and custom type do you want to enable notification for a new post yes and do you want to uh, custom post type yes and depending on them or the pages that you have you can custom post type you can select the one you have but i'm just going to change on that metadata position let it be normal and we save the changes now we have the user notification we want to enable what are those notifications you want the user to have we have a new comment reply for the logged in users and for the logged in users for the bb press uh, those people who are using bb press you can enable the notification for them and you also enable the woocommerce order update notification we just start and we save the changes so with that we can now try and see how it works so we only need to go to the post and we add a new post 
before you proceed i would wish to log in to uh to a customer account so you can see even for the visitors here let's see first of all before you log in we see how the visitor will get the notification so we just come here and we type a new maybe you see new shop available uh, new shoe available you can just customize your post the way you want this just for the purpose of the tutorial so i need to add the text here and just start now i come to post and i add a featured image and i select the shoe here and i close there and let's scroll down here to here now we have the notification we have uh, the default notification you can change and you say new uh, or the shoe pursue available or maybe new shoe available how you want to name it the one that will make the customer want to click and see the post and just that you have now the recipients you can see if it's for everyone customer and all that i want to have it for everyone and with that i publish and after that the post has been published we come here and we refresh our page you can see the customer how the visitor will see this one and on click let's see be able to see the notification like this new issue available and you can see the date and the day and the time it was posted and they can click here and be able to see the post and you can see the post they have been directed to the post so let's just come back here home and we log in as a user and we'll be able to see what's new so i just i only need to click and i add a mail and i just click login there we have it so you can be able to see the difference between the visitor notification and the user no login logged in user notification is very different and uh, even if you let it as a visitor you can be able to even lead it as a logged in user so with that now you have and that uh, that much customization you can you see we can be able to have the notification for only the logged in users and for the logged out users so with that now you can be able even to uh custom will be even be able to see the update like that maybe for an update for an order the, it will appear here on the uh, on your website on the year end and that's the tutorial for today hope you did learn something hope it will be of great benefit to you and if you're new here consider subscribing to our youtube channel and hit the thumbs up for this tutorial until next time thank you